All right, as promised, we're going to go ahead and do a real quick tutorial here on how to apply your bonus eyelashes that come with your uh, Pretty Actions Retouch and Makeup collection. So that's the collection I have open right here. You can see me scrolling through it on the right hand side of your screen. Um, so we really wanted to make things easy for you guys and just automate the process as much as possible. So what we did was included an action within the collection right here. You can see bonus eyelash applicator. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, and this is going to help me apply the eyelashes and just make the process that much easier. So I'm going to press play. And here we have handy dandy instructions and I'm gonna walk you through the process actually here. So I'm going to press continue. So we have our very own eyelash layer that was just created here through the action. Okay, black is already going to be your foreground color because the action uh, will play that way. And your brush is selected. Now if you want to say change the color of your eyelashes, maybe a deep brown, you can just double click on that and select a custom color. Black is a very good default, okay? So locate your options bar at the top here of your screen and click on the little uh, triangle here to open up your eyelash options. Now, when you'd initially uh, purchased your collection and double clicked on the brushes, it will load up here in uh, into your brush panel. Now, sometimes it can take a little while to do that. You may have to restart Photoshop. So if you don't see them right away, that's that's fine. They, they will appear. You might wanna just restart Photoshop and you'll see them appear in your uh, brush options. So notice I have a left and right version of each of the lashes. So we've got our, our pretty lashes here, our kind of wispy, sultry lashes. Uh, little corner lashes and then you know here towards the end um, I've got the, the bottom lashes for your bottom lash line uh, so you can play with those and have tons of fun they're so much fun to use uh, I'm just gonna select my left lash here okay you can resize uh, your brush your lashes notice you can kind of see the outline there uh, resize it using your left and right bracket keys okay so I'm working on my layer I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller yeah I'll probably just and I'm just gonna click right there okay bam up uh, now I realized my layer opacity was 47% I did not want to do that so I'm just going to go to edit undo okay so let me bring my opacity my actual brush opacity up to 100% so look at that if it's not turning out the way you expected it's probably your brush opacity um, so I'm just gonna click right around her lash there. Now, obviously it's not matching her lash line. Okay, no worries, that's a super simple fix. I'm just going to go to edit and transform and warp. And I'm just gonna click on all the little intersecting points here and just bring that down um, to really perfectly match her lash line. So it's really super, super easy. Okay. And press enter when you're done. Gorgeous, look how easy that was. Now obviously you can see the left hand side of her face here, the depth of field is, um, it's not quite as sharp as the right side of her face. So I'm gonna go ahead and blur that eyelash, super simple. I'm just going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian. We're gonna keep that right around 1.3. My preview isn't quite loading at the moment, but I think that's kind of matching the, the rest of the depth of field on that side. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this action again to apply our right eyelash. I'm gonna click on it. And we'll definitely want to resize that. Okay, I'm just gonna click right there, go to edit, transform, or actually, one moment here. Um, first, since the uh, angle is so off uh, from, from you know, the angle of her actual lash line. I'm going to click on the move tool and first I'm just going to, you know, kind of try and match the angle at least before I use the warp tool. So I'm gonna press enter and now I'm going to go to edit, 
transform, warp, and we're just going to mold this, so to speak, to her lash line. And notice I can click on any one of the intersecting points and just move that around. Press enter when you're done. And let me grab my brush tool and just go ahead and zoom on out. Look how super simple that was. There we go, bam, before and after. So easy to add eyelashes, there's four different types of eyelashes as well as a pair of um, bottom lashes to apply as well. Now if that's a little bit too strong, of course you can play with the opacity, um, you know, lower the opacity a little bit there on the lashes and just see, uh, maybe get a little bit more of a subtle look as well. So super, super easy to use and you guys are gonna have tons of fun with the bonus lashes in this collection. We're so happy we were able to make um, such an amazing collection for everyone to, to have and just be able to use effortlessly with their images in Photoshop. Thanks guys.